nutshell, when Dante was up over there and he brought up that thing again, that one page on H.H. H. Johnson about trying to prove text to Elamites, um, you notice that he did not go to this, the, the title of the header of that uh, chapter. No, he did not. And I put that in the chat more than five or six times in all caps. Bring, okay. make him go to the title, and they did. See, but this, this is this is the thing about it. He'll just, just he'll just use that one sentence talking about saying that they'll be like Negroid or with dark complexion, curly hair, stuff like that, and then he'll run and jump on something else. See, this is the problem. Are those the same Elamites that's noted from Scripture? Does H. H. Johnson hold the view from a biblical standpoint, or are those yeah. Elamites are derived from? an evolutionary standpoint mm -hmm. see that is what he's not doing and people want to talk about the christian apologists are not venting anything or checking their reference or resources we are definitely checking this because we have to have the bible as the final authority i don't need to run to other type of resources up over here i want to stay within the guidelines that we have what johnston was trying to describe so when he says about the Elamites, you have to go deeper. Even within that one page, it talks about all them being like a subspecies. So that's why we would ask the question. I asked Berean the question several times. Hey, are, are you a monkey? Do you agree with Dante's use of H.H. H. Johnson's book calling Black people monkeys? No response. No. no response from none of them. And this is one more thing, sis, is this, is that when you have, when you play on semantics and a lot of people like Dante's followers are too gullible actually to really, because there, I think it's two things going on. Some of them are really impressionable. They're, like I said, they, they want that he tells them things that uh, they want to hear. So they agree with that stuff. But some of them are still trying to push this narrative about black people are the true jews and the stuff that they use up over there to push this false narrative and people are believing this nastiness about black hebrew Islamism too and these fake christian israelites mm -hmm. so it's like this if you if anyone and everyone has probably experienced this i'm just using something very like you know just something that's you know people can just relate to if somebody calls their car babe that's my baby right there uh -huh. is that a literal baby no Okay, so you're, it's like a term of endearment, right? Or it's just something that's something special to you, but that does not make it something that's literally a, a, a human, like an infant. So when we look at what uh, Dante Fortson is doing by proof text, because you notice that he always runs to that one sentence. And I did and let him know. I went back to his video and he said that he answered that. He did not answer no, anything he did not. that he asked about that he did not address the petacoid issue about black people black people being called monkeys and i like as remy said it paints the broad brushes saying that all people you know that's from the evolutionary standpoint remy's right on that but what's specific about this and what's special uh, special consideration about this is it's the negro what in the new world so this was specifically dealing with black people mm -hmm. from johnson's standpoint Mm -hmm. So that's a problem. And that's why you see that there's so much dishonesty from the um, the moderates. I'll call them moderates all day long. That's Amen. not racist. They call themselves moderates. Sure did. They're fake Christians. Fake Christians. Sure Christian Israelites. Creeping Israelites. Uh, whichever way you want to call yourself. Man. They might have dropped that Christians because Christians. Yeah, uh -uh. Definitely. So, but that that's the problem because now when we, this is my last point and then you, we'll move, we move forward from there. The creation account is not attributed to H.H. H. Johnson's, uh, his methodology, his writing, his ideology for that book. He does not show that we are created in God's image, but yet and still, in the evolutionary standpoint, you either come from a goo or from a primate or common ancestor to a, what was the one that I showed you that's on the video? What, prototype, Australia? Prototype, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then... Africans, Congo, monkey type feet, petacoid feet, petacoid characteristics. Odabanga was listed as the common ancestor and he was stuck in the human zoos here in the United States. You had a young black person in a cage with monkeys being thrown peanuts and stuff at. Come on, man. 
he's not bringing that type of information out. But then the other people, I think, since they have convinced themselves so much that they're Israelites, they hate Africans. They hate Black people. There's a clips from vocab. Uh, Jesus is the word. Um, maybe from a booze channel, maybe from yours, that there was people from ISUPK talking about, I hate you African people because you enslaved my people. They've been in They got thousands of videos of that. They got thousands of videos. Yes. So they don't, it don't matter. To me, it's like this. It doesn't matter what H.H. Johnson say about this. To this point, if they're defending and not saying, wait, you know what? Even though I might not agree with you, Bill, Sister Cherry, or Brother Brian, or any of my brothers and sisters in the live chat, all you guys, they need to turn around and sit him down talking about Dante and ask him these questions. Oh, why are you so focused on the race? No, I'm, I'm, I got a problem with the whole thing. I'm talking to you about the sentence that you brought up. We're talking to you about the racist views that he has towards Black people and talking about all these things that's rooted in that pathetic nasty book that's in existence because remember his initial thing that he came out with was talking about what i think the johnson family should come out and sue you guys how is that so talking what the man said he talked that. about coming out suing no we're talking about the information that's affecting the black community and the view that are you know our, our, our elders and things had to grow up in. The people over in South Africa had to be exposed to that because, because the evolutionary thought was like this. Black people are, and the other ones that's non-white was considered lower racist. That means they didn't even have the function intellect of a human. They call them monkeys or animals from that point. But here's my thing. I found very hypocritical and I said this some years ago, especially, you know, with the camps, just the Hebrew Israelite movement, because you do got some moderates that feel the same way, that carry that, you know, one way's ideology, whatever, however they want to define it, uh, that they hate Africans or, you know, they down Africans. It's funny that you can do that, but then you want to use Africa in your story. You want to use the continent of Africa in your story. Even though the story is garbage, oh, we migrated over to the west point of Africa. But wait a minute, you hate Africa, so what you doing over there migrating, right? And which we know that that's not simply not true, right? Um, not to mention, um, uh, uh, you want to thump on certain things, the limbos, the igbos, and all of this other stuff. People in Africa, but then hate African. You also, man, that's hypocritical. If that ain't hypocrisy, brother Bill, I don't know what is. I find I'm that still, quite. I'm odd. still having a problem with why they don't discuss about Christianity in Ethiopia in the first century. Oh God! Over a thousand plus years before the transatlantic slave trade, there was no whips on nobody's back. There was no chains on them. These people were. Brian even described how it was going on in the kingdom that was a Christian, uh, um, you know, with Christianity in the kingdom up over Marine there. Marine brought it out one time, and guess what? I was looking in the chat. Do you know they was not listening to him? See, that's the problem. See, that's the subjective thing that they want. They're biased to the information. So here it is. If they so stronghold on the what happened to blacks here coming to America through the transatlantic slave trade, talking about, oh, you know, Christianity was forced upon them. But turn the clock back a millennia plus. Mm -hmm. There was no whips on nobody's back. We have the account again, and I bring it up all the time. Everyone should already know it by now. Acts chapter 8, verse 26 through 40, where you Come see on. Christianity coming into what? Ethiopia, East Africa in the first century. Through this man who was not enslaved, he was in great authority under Queen Candace. Hmm. So come on, man. When you want to turn around and start hiding information, manipulating information, you control the people. But once you educate someone, you liberate them. You are liberated from that type of bondage that they want to try to keep you under. So, you know, my prayers for these Black Hebrew Israelites, even though I clown them, and I'm, I'm saying it right here, right now, you know, but still, they actually need to be woken up to truth. And that's through by the Holy Spirit, not talking about waking up to your identity. I have searched through scripture and I haven't seen I got to be waking up to my ethnicity. I'm awakened to Christ. That, period, that's period. why. And I, and I typed in I'm there done. also. I, I, no, 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 no. I also typed, I typed in there, Brother Bill, if you've seen it. I said, it's funny that he's saying that Timbo ain't answered this. Timbo ain't answered that. Right. And he did answer a lot of stuff. Um. 
Uh, it's funny, Dante, what about, what about, what about Fortson, right? <laughs> like Brian Carl, that you, both of y'all came up with or you came up with. I don't know who came up with it, but it's funny. Listen, this is what I'm saying. When I asked Dante on Bereen's panel a couple of days ago, show me all that you saying in the doctrine of Christ and Cherry Love would shut her mouth. What did he do? What'd he do? He ran to something else. Every time I brought it back to this book that's on the screen, family, he ran from it. You know why he's running from it? I'll tell you why. Yeah, Cherry Love got the answer to that question. Because the Bible don't give that narrative. The Bible don't say what they say. And again, but though, I don't care if he said, well, I believe in the Trinity. I believe in the deity. I believe in this. I believe in that. But okay, if you believe in that, then you should know that Jesus Christ should be the main focal point. We got people out here that are not saved, that don't know Christ. Christ gave the Christian believer, the believers. Now, let me show you now. Wait, Jerry, can I say something just at that yeah, Go right ahead while I'm bringing be this brief, up. Because I'm like I said, I, I know Brian got something. I'll just be very brief about it. If Dante Fortson and his followers was on that level, remember, I still have those screenshots, what he said about you, vocab, and g -Con. He was calling, he was using racist terms. Yeah. Calling someone master, calling them your black slaves, all those kind of things. He like told that. So how is this individual... Yeah, and he was speaking. Yeah, G Con's name when he got floated. He up told G Con to do something to the privy part of a man. Now, oh, how, how is that a screenshot godly person? Too. How is that a godly person? How is that supposed to be an individual? Because remember, one thing that people will should always ingrain in their minds when they're on the platform, if they're on the street, they're inside the church, or even in the home, is that too much is given, much is required. If you feel that you have enough wisdom, quote unquote, of God, and you think that you can step up and start teaching this stuff and it's not right, guess what? The greater combination is going to come upon you because you are causing people to stumble. So go fact check everything we say, what we talk about. Fact check Batman, everything, all of us, to make sure what we're saying is right. See, when I keep that in the back of my mind, I want to make sure that I'm what? I'm not putting in my own personal opinion on this right here. I want to go to the things of scripture and make sure that's the first and foremost. Mm -hmm. But what Dante is doing, he got the people so mesmerized about his words and they think that they got this hero worship or quote unquote, he's our Messiah type because they defend this person. Tooth, tooth and nail. Just like how you said the stuff that you put up in there and guess what happened? Crickets. Yeah. Nothing moved. Not the move. But yet and still, when he turns around wanting to say something or all the rest of the moderates up over there or some of the Black Hebrew Israelites, and, you know, I don't want to have to throw names up in there, but still, you're, you're running with Orthodox Moore. Hmm. He's a cool brother from that part, but when we're theologically, religiously, I, have, I, have, I don't agree with him absolutely whatsoever. But hmm. if you're yoking yourself and you're uniting yourself with people who are opposed to your position only to try to come against the Christian church, you can see what type of individual that you're dealing with. Mm -hmm. He is mm -hmm. a hypocrite. He's a snake. Just like in Ezekiel, where God had told Ezekiel to go through this door in the North Gate, crawl through this hole. I want to show you what they do in secret, what I see openly. And they were worshiping pagan idols in secret. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is the kind of stuff when you got people like Dante is doing, endorsing people that's outside the realm of Christianity, but he's utilizing them to strengthen his position. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's horrible. That's horrible. Bunch of freaking hypocrites. It Boy. is. And, and then let me say this, because I know Brother Brian want to speak. Let me say this, Brother Brian, and I'm going to turn it over to you. First and second of all, for my last point, if Dante was mainly focused on Christ. And if Christ is the focal point for him, and, and, and I had a brother, I think it was Brother Myron, he said, I only seen seven videos on salvation. <laughs> ah, really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, hold on to the believers. Christ gave the believers 
a great commission. He said, go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name, N-A-M-E, singular, of the what? The Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Teach them all the things that I have taught you and know that I am with you all, uh, all the way to the end of the world. Now, hold on. Teach them the things to observe all the things whatsoever I have commanded you. Now, hold on. That's all of its power. But right there, what I just highlighted in the blue is the key. That should move the believer or that person. Well, what did Jesus teach? Did Jesus teach skin doctrine? Did Jesus teach discrimination? Did, G D did Jesus teach any of this stuff that's coming out the mouth of Hebrew Israelites? The answer is no. And you can easily find this out by what? Going back to the words of Jesus. That's why babies in Christ, I have you go straight to the words of the Messiah. I'm not doing that just, okay, let me just send them over there to Jesus just to get rid of you. No. Christ is the focal point. He's in the beginning. Remember when we were talking about Genesis, right? Sister Keisha brought it up. She said, well, I didn't start at the beginning. I started at the gospels. Perfect. Flawless victory, Sister Keisha. Let me tell you why again. Because you need to know what your Messiah taught. You need to know how your Messiah moved. You need to know the who, what, when, where, why, how. The context of what the Messiah did, what he said, what he wanted you to do, and etc. what he taught. Pain point, period. Right? That will cause you to do what? Go back to Genesis. Right? Remember, I made that point. Now, hold on. With things like this, folks who claim that they are Christian, folks who are claiming that they're saved, are they following what Jesus taught? Are they teaching what Jesus taught? The answer for Dante and the rest of his cronies, the answer is no. They're teaching skin doctrine and they're bringing in what? Discord, division, right? Now, can he bring division into the body of Christ? From the outside, he's not in the body of Christ because Dante is not saved. I will say it, I'm not, listen, and I'm not saying that because he identifies as a Hebrew Israelite, which that very name is a lie, by the way, because it's not in the biblical text, and the Bible tells us not to go beyond what is written. But based on what? What did Jesus say? Brother Bill, if you can answer this, and I will shut to the up. How did Jesus say you can identify a person that is of God and not of God? Did he give us that? What did Jesus say? I say by the heart. By the heart? And the one that confessed that he's correct. Lord. You're right. But how did he say? Jesus said you. Down, I'm, it's been a long day. Jesus said you will know them by their fruits. Oh, what? by their fruits. Oh, yeah, my yeah, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Yes. Being a tree is, yeah, you're being a fruit inspector. Exactly. R-N-O says, Brother Willie, Brother Brian, Brother Bill, and to all the Christian brothers and sisters of Lily T, Jesus said you will know them by their fruits. What does it mean? What does know them by their fruits? They're how they talk, how they walk, their actions, how they live, what they do, even how they teach, and all of that. Them fruits going to tell you Everything, everything, everything that you need to know. Are you dealing with a person that is saved or are you dealing with a person that's unsaved? Test Can I read something? Go ahead. Just Go real ahead. quick, Brian, Brian, just, just, Brian, let me just do this one right here. This was from a post back in December, I believe it's, I have the uh, date on here, but I think it's December 23rd, 2019. Mm -hmm. And this is from Dante. And I'm going to read this real quick. It says here, can you guys hear me okay? Yes, yeah, sir, you're doing just fine. Okay, right here. Now he says, and I know you always have to read the whole thing in this context and stuff like that too, but this is something that's really targeting what he's talking about. Uh -huh. And I don't want to be like accused, oh, he's just, you know, he's just doing proof text. Man, I'll give you the whole thing and, and give it to you so you can send it out so they can see the whole thing. It says here, if you haven't seen my video uh, series yet, 
Urban Apologists, uh, excuse me, uh, Urban Apologetics Exposed. Check it out. Urban apologetics go after black groups while ignoring white ones, just like Oprah has done with black celebs while ignoring white celebs doing the same thing. It's white supremacy in black face. When it comes down to it, it seems the UA just hates black people, but specifically any black people that won't accept white Jesus. They are modern day house Negroes teaching under a supervision of massa vocab. And as you see, as you'll see, as his moderators in the chat, uh, they need Massa's permission to get rid, uh, get rid on and attack other Black people by name. To prove my point, watch the last few live streams. She doesn't attack anyone until Massa Malone shows up. Does that sound like somebody has good fruit or bad fruit? Bad fruit. That's from Dante Fortson. And good fruit for two. Bad fruit for one. A uh, 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 good fruit for two. Put it in the chat, y'all. I, I'm gonna I, I'm gonna cast my vote. I'm gonna cast my vote right here, right here. One. That bad fruit. To answer your question, brother Bill, that's bad fruit, right? First of all, vocab is my brother. He's not my master. Him and I serve the same master, Jesus Christ. He the only master that I see, along with God the Father and God the, uh, God, uh, God the Holy Spirit, right? God is the only master in this book. Um, From what I can see, that what Dante is pushing is bad fruit. That's why I get up there publicly, unashamed, unapologetically, say that Dante ain't saved. Saved folk don't have to go through all of this. Saved folk don't have to be pulling DNA. Saved folk ain't got to be pushing no skin doctrine. Jesus Christ is enough. 